Hello friends, welcome back to another how-to guide here on the channel. I hope you're all doing great. And for anyone new to the channel, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris. In today's guide, we are gonna be covering all of the details to show you how to get the Pixie Trio, Azelf, Uxi, and Mesprite in Pokemon's Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Before we get into this guide, I need to point out that this is actually post game content. So you will have need to have beat the Elite Four to actually go after these three Pokemon. Once you have defeated Mount Galactic at the top of Mount Coronet, you know that Azelf, Uxie and Mesprite are free and they return back to their respective temples on each of the respected lakes around the Sinnoh region. Now to go out and get them, all you need to do, it is pretty simple, is just visit each of these lakes. These are all locations that we've been to in the game and as this is post game content these are all locations that we've already visited in the main story gameplay. I just want to mention that this guide is about the pixie trio but the main kind of bulk of the guide is about the best and easiest way to catch Mesprite which is a Roman Pokemon. So there are timestamps on the video so if you've already got Azelf and Uxie and you're only interested in the Mesprite part of this guide and how to use my method to get Get it very easily then just skip across to that on the video and i hope you find it useful so we'll start this guide with azelf because it gets harder as we go through this the first two are going to be pretty straightforward azelf and uxie azelf is located in lake vala which you will need to get to via veilstone city so you can visit veilstone city if you don't know the way there and you can follow my guide down route 214 and uh, this will take you to lake vala lakefront and then on the lake you just need to surf and head over to the temple once you're inside the temple you can then encounter azelf and then you can capture it now you can save it in front of azelf if you want to in case the encounter goes wrong and then you can reset the game rather than having to beat the elite four again to respawn azelf now in my case i'm just going to run from azelf in this guide here today because i do plan on either soft resetting for it or resetting for it for better IVs. So I'm gonna have to suck up and beat the Elite Four at some point to respawn it later on in my gameplay. Next we'll move on to Uxi and Uxi is located in Lake Acuity and you can access Lake Acuity from Snow Point City. So you wanna head up to Snow Point, then you exit the town as you would onto two, Route 217 and this will lead you to Lake Acuity. It's pretty much straightforward as you would do the same with Azelf. You need to surf across the lake. You'll enter the temple and inside is Uxi. Um, again, for the purposes of this guide, I'm just running away from Uxi. I will and have to now go after the Elite Four to respawn these Pokemon. I would like to get them in either their shiny forms or with very strong IV spreads. So this takes us to the third and final pixie of the trio and that is Mesprite. Mesprite is located in Lake Varity and you can access this from Twinleaf Town, your hometown. So you're very well aware of this lake. It is pretty close to Twinleaf. If you exit Twinleaf, you can take a left here and this will take you to Lake Varity where Mesprite is located. But unlike Azelf and Uxi, when you encounter Mesprite, you can't actually engage in the battle because it just flees from the battle and then it begins to roam around the Sinnoh region. And this is where the problem starts. So the first thing to do to be able to track where Mesprite is roaming around the Sinnoh region, you're gonna need a bit of Pokétech for your Pokétech watch. So what we need to do is head over to Jubilife City. Uh, you'll be able to get this Pokétech item in the post game once you complete the Elite Four. Um, and you just need to visit the Pokatech building here. And once you're inside, you speak to the president and he will give you the, the Pokatech tracker. Now, this is, as you can see, when we open it, it will have a little sprite that moves around the map. Um, it will move when you move. So if you fly to the area where the, the little sprite is or where Mesprite is, 
then it will move to a different area. So you have to use a little bit of strategy to be able to catch it. The other issue is once you do encounter Mesprite, it is just gonna normally flee from the battle. So it's very difficult to actually keep it in the battle. So we're gonna approach that in a moment. Looking through what we have available in the Sinnoh region as trappers, there is one trapper available in the Sinnoh region and that is Wobbuffet. Now Wobbuffet is a Pokemon radar only Pokemon. So you can only catch it with the Pokemon radar and chaining. So you're gonna need the radar to get this. To get the radar, we're gonna to have to have a Pokedex complete. Now, once you have the Pokedex complete, you have 150 Pokemon. You don't need to catch these Pokemon. You only need to see 150 Pokemon from the region. Now we've seen the Pixie Trio. Our Pokedex is complete. So we can visit Professor Rohan. We get a nice trip from Professor Oak as well. And as a gift, Professor Rohan gives us the Poke Radar. Now with the Poke Radar in hand, we can now head over to Lake Acuity. Now it is worth noting that you can go to Lake Vala to pick up Wobbuffet in the same manner with the Poke Radar, although it will be a much lower level and you kind of need that higher level if you're going to use it against one of these legendary Roman Pokemon. If we head to Lake Acuity uh, where we picked up Oxy earlier, you can head to the lake and uh, if you surf across the lake, you'll come down to the bottom right hand corner where there is a patch of grass and it's in this grass is where we want to use the Poke Radar and you just have to kind of go over and over until you get lucky with the one Buffet spawn. So we eventually it takes us about 15 maybe 15 attempts to get the war buffet in this situation but we do, do finally get it level 38 which is pretty good not brilliant but it will do a job for us so once we've got the war buffet now is the time that we can go after mesprite now the best place personally uh, that i would probably use to kind of trap and pin Mesprite on the map is by going to the Valley Windwork. So between the Valley Windworks you're going to have two areas, a nice large areas of grass where you can you can run around and get these sprites if they are in that area and it also is between two areas between Route 205 and the Valley Windworks so you can run between the two very quickly and then you can change where the sprite or mesprite is uh, roaming around on the map so you can track it down really quickly and then hopefully get it in the area where you're not changing area and then just have the encounter and then trap it with war buffet is the idea and then hopefully catch it so here we go as you can see we are at the valley windworks here and we're just literally running in between this and route 205 the mesprite sprite on the poke app is moving around every time we change our area so it's literally just a case of moving from one area to the next until that sprite is in the same location as you are and as you see once we are in this location here uh, it is finally in the same location as us so all we need to do is then run around in the grassy areas and try and encounter it now don't have a max repel on or any sort of repel because it will stop you getting the encounter or at least that's what I've experienced so far even if I've had a Pokemon a lower level than the the legendary it has prevented me from catching it and it was only when the repel wore off that I was able to encounter it so you might have to put up with a few uh, encounters of just random wild Pokemon in these areas before you do get the encounter but don't worry too much because the Roman Pokemon shouldn't move out of the area unless you change the route that you're on. So after a little hunting around in this area where it is we do finally get the encounter with it and we are able to trap it with with War Buffet. and the nice thing about War Buffet is it only has options of counter and miracle where you're going to be able to return double damage onto the Pokemon and then that gets it pretty low for you to then just chuck uh, copious amounts of ultra balls or whatever kind of pokeball that you want to do until you potentially catch it so here we go and uh, we do get very fortunate in this one and uh, manage to nab mess sprite in an ultra ball and they did talk about trying to get Azelf and Uxie as either shiny sprites or with their IVs. But with Roman Pokemon, it's so much more difficult right now, especially at the start of the game. And we don't know really too much about how the RNG works for Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Um, it's going to be a lot easier just to grab this Pokemon now and uh, have it for the Pokedex. So hopefully this method is helpful for you. So with the roaming Pokemon in the Sinnoh region, you're going to get a couple of them. We'll be doing a guide on the other roaming Pokemon that we're going to experience very soon um, and using the same sort of method. So what you want to do is make sure that you've got the Pokedex complete so you get the Poker Radar, go grab yourself a War Buffet, and then once you've got the Pokedex, 
app on your Pokotec watch. You're going to be able to track it, come to the Valley Windworks, just go between the two different routes and then you are going to encounter it. And when you do, it's not going to be able to flee. So you're going to be able to wear it down a little bit and then just throw Pokeballs or whatever at it until you're able to catch it. So I do feel like this is the best method to catch the Roman Pokemon right now. If you've got your own method, do leave it down in the description. I love hearing about other people's experiences and what they use to try and get these Roman Pokemon that are a little bit of a headache at times to get. So that wraps up this guide, my friends. I hope you have found it useful. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you have found it useful, as always, please drop a like on the video. It does really go a long way to help the channel. And if you have enjoyed the content and you'd like to see more of this content, do consider subscribing to the channel and hit that notification bell because as I've been saying in our brilliant diamond and shine and pearl content so far we have a boat load on the way so if you don't want to miss any of that make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see you all for the next one so until then friends take care and bye bye friends if you have enjoyed today's video make sure you do check out both of these brilliant diamond and shining pearl guides that are already up on the channel and as i've mentioned this is only the start of the coverage for these brand new titles since they've dropped also if you are new to the channel make sure you check out any competitive content we do a lot of vgc content here on the channel as well as doing live streams and nuzlocke so it'd be great to have you join the community we have a community discord as well that you can get involved with but at the base of it thank you so much for checking the videos out and if you do check any of the other content out i hope you enjoy it